what's going on everybody it's your boy andy matrix and if this screen would just stay still here we go okay so i have an interesting story <clears throat> i have an interesting story and i wanted to talk about this because i thought it was absolutely it was somewhat hilarious and at the same time kind of like it is very telling is very telling of modern times let's just say right so i'm here at 5newsonline.com right and it says arkansas family files negligence lawsuit against major video game companies accusing them of negligence for son's gaming addiction that doesn't make sense um in other words basically the kid spent money on microtransactions he got he became obese and as a result now the family wants to sue him <laughs> well now the family wants to sue the video game companies basically nintendo and xbox so we're gonna get into it okay uh guys make sure that you like this video make sure that you subscribe to the channel i cover gaming news anime news um i do my own unique um video like video essays i talk about japanese culture so yeah subscribe to the channel guys okay so it says Lasso says the teens spend 350 a month on microtransactions, right? It says that uh, that are targeted to be addictive to children. Well, I mean that's arguable. That's arguable. Like yeah, I mean video games in general are addictive, but like free to play, something free to play like let's say Fortnite and other free to play games online, they are they are designed to be like kind of like a casino right it is it is designed to be addictive because they want to they want you to keep spending money right okay then it says in arkansas family has filed lawsuit against several video game developers including xbox and nintendo <laughs> accusing them of purposely causing young people to get addicted to playing to playing their games and spending money again this is a video game thing video games are designed to be addictive in general but I think I think it's more I think it's more rampant with free to play games, which this is the case here. Right? And, and by the way, like because it says losses the Lasso said the team spent $350 a month on microtransactions per month. And to buy microtransactions, you need a credit card or debit card. So how did this 13-year-old kid get their hands on their parents' credit card? Was their parents allowing him to use the credit card? I mean, there's a lot of questions to be asked here. All right, so the lawsuit filed uh, in, in the U.S. District Court of Eastern Arkansas, November 3, claims the 13-year-old the son has internet gaming disorder. <laughs> I need, oh, we, we got a <laughs> internet gaming disorder. We got a new mental disease here, mental issue here. A new mental problem. It says, caused by video game Com companies who specifically develop and design their products to cause the addiction well you know that you can stop playing video game all you have to put is put the controller down turn off the tv turn off the computer uninstall the game from your child's computer problem solved um and then it goes on it says the family accuses four games and two cloud cloud-based systems of making it too easy for their son to purchase the microtransaction habitually yeah, but in order for people to buy, to pay for microtransactions, you need a credit card or debit card. So, you, mom and dad, like, how did your kid get access to your credit card? Like, did you give it to him? Like, did you put it in a place easy to reach? Why did you just take the freaking games away from the kid? Like, discipline your child. This is parenting 101. It says, according to the loss of the team, the team boy is addicted to Fortnite, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Rainbow Six. I never heard of Rainbow Six. Spending approximately 13 hours per day. What? Damn! 13 hours per day? Playing these games across his Xbox and Nintendo Switch consoles. Says the lawsuit claims that due to the toll these games took on their son, he now experiences pain in, in his hands, elbows, shoulders, increased weight, morbid obesity, <laughs> lack of interest in other hobbies, all of these seem like personal problems. So hands, basically pain the hands, elbows, shoulders, increased weight, morbid obesity. That is a personal problem. That is something that the individual has to take care of. And if you're a, if you're a parent, if you're a mother or father of a 13-year-old, 
This is your responsibility to discipline your child. Stop blaming video games. You, look, I get it. <clears throat> I get it. I, I'm in my 30s, okay? I'm in my 30s, and hey, I play video games. And I've been playing video games since the freaking early 2000s. I know how how addictive video game video games can be. I mean, I play Final Fantasy 16, right? I play Final Fantasy 16 uh, for four days straight, nonstop, right? But I did that, and then after I finished the game, I went back to my regular life. You know, I, I took responsibility for myself. But you have to teach your children discipline. Otherwise, if you just let them do whatever they want then of course you're going to have an addiction. 13 hours per day? Shorten the amount of time that they play video games. Shorten the amount of time to like 2-3 hours per day. Or like maybe on the weekends. On the weekends, you can play as much as you want. During the weekdays, you have to study. You have to do your homework and study and do other activities. You know, don't blame video games. Like people, like, she's... This, this, this parent is going out of their way to sue Nintendo, to sue the Xbox for a responsibility that should be in their hands, right? And then, of course, people on the right, the conservatives, you know, the you know, the conservatives, Fox News and the Republicans, they say, oh, it's video games fault. This is why we have, we, this is why we have, you know, school shooters because of video games. Come on. Come on, look at, the, look at what's happening. You can't blame video games. You can't blame Nintendo. They're a business. They're, they're out to make money. Yeah, they're gonna make money. But you gotta take responsibility for yourself. I don't know what else to say this about this. And this this lawsuit is absolutely ridiculous. It's just another case of like people instead of taking responsibility, they go out and try to look for, for you know try to try to blame somebody else for their personal problems. If you get fat, right? If you become obese because you were playing too many video games, that is a you problem. That is not a Nintendo problem. It's not even the fault of the video game. The video game is meant for you to have fun. You should have enough discipline to know when to stop. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a nerd on YouTube. Guys, make sure that you uh, leave a comment below. Comment and tell me what you think about the situation. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I cover more crazy stories like this. And uh, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy, Animatrix. Godspeed, everybody.